Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going through the Bitcoin chart for you all here, explaining to you the long position that I am currently in and where I am looking to take this in the coming days. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video and uh, before I get over into the price action, the position that I'm in, I would like to, as always, explain my positions of the last few days so you can really learn from the theory and knowledge that I'm sharing with you all here. So make sure you pay full attention, give all your attention to this video because I'm going to be passing on some really great knowledge uh, of the trades that I've been taking. So, uh, I mean, once again, I just want to highlight that it's just been so nice. Like the, the technical analysis here on Bitcoin has just been absolutely perfectly respected. Again, we're talking to the dollar several times over the last few days. It's just it's just insane absolutely insane accuracy on this trade so i want to share with you these trades and uh, you know just really you know that that's it really just highlights you that the technical analysis here is working all the way down on the one minute chart yes we're trading from the one minute chart all the way up to the daily weekly time frame so i mean obviously it's just it's just a, it's just such a joy it's just a joy to trade this you know when you put in the time doing the technical analysis and then you just see I guess it's like like the, like the saying. Like, I don't know if it's the same, but like hard work. You basically the the, the hardest working reap the biggest rewards. Um, that that's the saying that I've kind of just made up. And, but um, you know, it it really really does, and it's the same in all fields. Okay, that the hardest you know the hardest working people get paid the most amount of money, and it's the same in trading. The hardest working technical analysts are the ones that are making all the money because. You know, we're reading the charts well, I suppose. <laughs> so I'm going to talk you over a few of these trades and. Um, yeah, it's just been it's just been lovely. So uh, I want to talk you through this one, and this is a one minute. Yeah, the, back down on the one minute chart, a trade from the one minute chart. And I was saying to my team, I felt pretty confident. This was obviously back on the nineteenth. Felt pretty confident that we would get another stop run of the lows, and that would have obviously been at twelve. Um, you know, in the you know in the in the afternoon morning. Uh, that I was saying to my team, felt we've you know pretty confident we get another stop run of these lows. And the reason I'm saying this, okay, the reason why I'm saying this. OK, um, is because these were poor lows. OK, so these are poor lows. OK, and when you have a poor low, you're more likely than not going to clean it up. And by clean it up, we mean, you know, essentially stop running those lows at, at least. Um, and so there was a high probability that we would come and clean these up before we get an increase in price. As, as you can see that you did, <laughs> you did clean them up with a really, really, really big long lower wick. OK, but that is giving you a much better low. And then from here, you do you do get a rally retrace a rally again. And I'll explain this one in a second. But, you know, I guess this is what just this is just. Uh, yeah, I wanted to highlight this really massively that it was a loss of the level retest monthly to the exact cent. OK literally to the exact cent you retest that before that you know what uh you know hundred dollar decrease in price just you know nearly coming on two hundred dollars it's just insane like the monthly has been you know you have been talking about the monthly here for over the last month um you know 55 days now we've been in this range and this this monthly has been you know very influential and here it is on the one minute chart loss of the level back test before obviously you got that big move to the downside to around 9160 there. Okay, so that's obviously a trade from back test of the monthly, okay, all the way down to the 618 Fibonacci. And you, you all know I love the 618 Fibonacci. I'm a, I'm a really big fan of it. And, uh, you know, there it is once again of coming into play there for a, a reaction of, of, of a bounce. And, um, you know, there you go, T take profit of the, of the month, of, 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 <laughs> take profit of the lows. And you can see the pe people absolutely loving it, absolutely loving it, this comment. Th that's me done for the weekend. Guys, I cannot state enough how good this group is and how fast you learn here. Legends, like, you know, that's kind of the, the lovely comments I love to read because it, it's just so nice. It's a lovely feeling when a technical, it's just, I just love technical analysis. I think you can all tell. You all know me by now. It's my passion. I love it. Um, so moving on to the next trade. And that kind of brings us up to why I'm in a long position right now. Okay. And uh, what you're going to see here is um, this is a, so this, this is what I was writing in the group yesterday. Okay. So I was saying uh, like last night, give me 9260, please. Okay. So you can see here that this is, a target here, 9,260. Okay, this is what I was writing. Uh, obviously, I was in a short position and I was looking for 9,260 to be hit. This is what I was giving us like a, as, as a target, essentially, of what I want to see hit on the short position. And uh, yeah, this one is impressive. This one is impressive. And I know people are going to be like, oh, this was Photoshop or something like this. Like, I understand that people are not even going to be able to believe this. But that is giving 9,260 as a target and we hit it to the exact, exact dollar 
before seeing this rally off of the level. I mean, this is insane. That's going from a short, okay, short, hitting, take profit to the dollar, switching into a long, seeing a rally. I mean, it's just crazy, crazy accurate. And I understand people are going to be thinking, oh, that's, that's impossible. I guess I can, I will show you this. So I will show you my post of 9 to 60. And this is obviously all posted in advance before it happens. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Um, that was this morning's one. Uh, yeah, there you go. Give me 9260, please. 9260, that was the target that I was giving the team. And you can see people reacting from this. You can see uh, other people looking to long 9260, hitting then it obviously hits 9260 exactly. It's just lovely. It really, really, really is. But uh, <laughs> yeah, there's the evidence that it's not for, I guess I should probably, you know, people are always like, oh, Dan, you need to refresh. So there you go. There's the refresh. There's 9260. And um, I just, yes, I'll do it one more time because I understand people are, if you don't see it, you've got to think that this is not real because it's just so accurate. It really is. Uh, so yeah, I'm obviously very proud of that one. And there's the rally. So obviously I'm sat in a long position right now. And uh, what what I'm looking for this is I well you can see the level that I've got I've got some alerts set for. But nevertheless, I would really like us to get above nine thousand five hundred. Okay. So I guess this is another example that I can give you. Like this is the way that I trade. So you can see here this is an example trade of mine. Okay. So this is an example trade where. Um, I know th this is the way that I trade, period. I'm never, go you know, how do you think many people trade this? For example, they're going to go, th let's say that they have, um, I don't know, $1,000. They have $1,000 in their account. They'll, they'll long 9260, you know, after I write, let's go for 9260. You know, they're going to long 9260, $1,000. And then, you know, likely they're going to still be in their $1,000 position right now. And let's say their target is, was 9,440, let's just say. That was their target. And then they close out $1,000 at 9,440. So they're always going fully in and fully out of positions. Whereas the way I like to trade is this is an example of one of my trades was starting with a, you know, $50,000 position, taking 40% profit at a, you know, when we hit support. And then after that support, adding the, you know, the, the position back on into the short. So you can see there, there's a short 9,461, taking profits at 9,392, and then adding that back on at 9,466. Again, then we obviously work our way back down. And this is the thing. I'm always going in, out, in, out, in, out of positions. And the way that I would look, like, like look at this chart, okay, let's say, give this as an example. If I'm, you know, I'm in a short 9461 and then I see support or at 9392, what I'm going to be doing is at this price, I'm going to be monitoring the reactions and I'm going to be saying to myself, right, is this now a good time to only take profit on my position or is this a good time to switch from a short into a long? And this is obviously monitoring in the time. You're not making wild predictions. You're actually just monitoring the reactions of the chart and you're you're essentially just trading the chart and what it's giving you, the data. OK, so it's never a, it's never a it's never a, a, a bias or a predict. You know, it's just. What's, I don't know the right word I'm looking for here. I'm I'm trading the evidence that's given to me. Okay, so it's it gives highly probable. You know, it gives a really 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 nice trades. I'm not going to lie. And this is the the thing that you know. I guess many people don't even know what they're doing on it. But nevertheless, you know, order flow is really 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 useful. Okay, so we obviously saw that an example yesterday. Firstly, it's the technical analysis of being aware where you're going to get the bounce. As giving 9260, you bounce off 9260 to the dollar. And then in this position, you have a really low risk long position because have a, you know, I've been screaming about this correlation over the past few weeks. The, 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 the stock market correlation, okay? It's been crazy. So once again, you saw a gap down last night as the futures opened. Guess what? People are way too bearish. People are way too bearish. Time and time and time again, we are squeezing these short positions on this market. So you, you see the gap down. Everybody turns just bearish. And I, I, I think this is dumb. But they turn bearish after the gap down. You close the gap and then you rally. Okay. So when you're seeing these rallies happen on the stock market, okay, S&P 500, biggest market in the world, then naturally... Um, it's only beneficial. We all have recognized, or, you know, a lot of people now have recognized the correlation between the two markets. Um, you know, you've got to trade it. This is adding to the probabilities. As you know, when we trade, we only trade the highest probability trades. So, um, you know, I give examples sometimes of Fibonacci, but I'm never going to trade just off of a Fibonacci level because one level of confluence for me is not enough. So I want to see several different tools lining up together and that's what gives me a highly probable trade okay so Fibonacci alone is not a highly probable trade if you only trade off of fibs you're going to lose money I would have thought so 
Um, so I like to see these confluence levels and just, you know, the ES rallying is just another level of confluence. OK, um, so, yeah, that, that was just another thing that you've got to keep your eye on. You really have to keep your eye on the, the S&P because the correlation is great. And we're going to open the actual. The, this is obviously the futures market out of hours and, and the low volume that comes along with out of hours trading. So we're going to see that open in four hours. So pay attention to four hours time. OK, it's currently 10.30. Um, you're going to want to pay attention to how the stock market actually opens and, um, you know, the reaction that we get off of that. Do we sell off? If that's the case, then we can imagine, you know, maybe Bitcoin does hold this 9,500 resistance and, and heads back downwards. Uh, if the stock market continues to rally, then, you know, we can probably expect Bitcoin to push up here. So, uh, moving it back to Bitcoin, I, I, you know, I've kind of told you that my key level of resistance is, is really this 9 9,005, sorry, 9,470 to 9,500, okay? And it's kind of like if we clear this resistance, then we can expect, you know, pretty, you know, at least to the top of this range, which is 9,600 at the very least, okay? And likewise, if we see the actual uh, the stock market start to head back down and kind of be a little bit of a bull trap, well, then naturally we can expect maybe that this, you know, current 9,450 resistance holds and, and we do head back south, okay? And although I'm in a long position at the moment, you know, I'm, I'm never married to a trade. So I, I, I will get out in, and out in and out of positions and switch my biases like this. And it's I'll switch a bias straight away with, with no care in the world if the chart's telling me to, okay? And until the chart tells me to, I'm not going to be switching in and out of biases, in and out of longs, in and out of shorts, like, will it, you know, for no reason. I am only going to be trading what the chart gives me. And, and that is honestly how you make money in this market. It is removing all biases. Because I can almost guarantee you, when you come down to this level last night, when you come down to here, you start consolidating at the lows. How many people do you think are buying at the lows? It's actually going to be a low percentage. The majority of people, when it's well, you know when it's coming down like this, are actually really scared to you know enter their long positions, and they would much prefer to buy after the rally. And it just doesn't make sense, in my opinion. You know, this for me is a take profit region on a long, and then you have the newer traders that would have sold down here, panic sold down here, and they'll be buying again at the highs. Whereas I'm flipping it around. I'm flipping it on its head. You know, I'm buying the de declines in prices, and I'll be looking to sell when we increase in price. You know, and it's just. It's so counter what the majority do. But, you know, this is obviously how you make money. You don't, you, you got to remove the emotions. And there's so much emotions fueled in this. And I'm not saying what it is, this is going to head down necessarily for here. But nevertheless, you know, it just makes make, makes sense. And again, we're never going in and out fully of positions, you know. Just for example, now the example could be, you know, I entered into a long position. I could have hit take profit. And then if we get a decline, I'll add back on, you know, expecting higher prices. And then when do I go from, when will I switch this long into a short position where it's really when we lose support or I see some weakness on the chart, you know? So I hope that makes sense because, you know, this is truly the way that you make money trading. So um, I guess I'll end with uh, this uh, really, really quickly that um, uh, I've got a contenders live stream on Wednesday and I'm going to be going over the 80 percent probability trade that we have here so i've got a setup here which is an 80 percent win rate it played out yesterday obviously for 9260 was the target for this 80 percent trade and we actually had it again this morning so that is two days in a row a 80 percent probability trade setup playing out so I'm going to be talking you through and explaining the theory behind this trade setup on Wednesday. OK, so if you want to learn about this trade, OK, this is a crazy, crazy, crazy high probability trade. You know, 80 percent is lovely. So if you want to learn about this trade setup, then um, I'm going to be teaching this on Wednesday's contenders live stream for the that is obviously for the contenders and the champions will have access to that. So if you want to learn about this setup, uh, yeah, I will be teaching it on Wednesday. It's honestly, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because it's, it's brilliant. Obviously, people are half knowing about it already in the group, but I'm going to be ex fully explaining the theory on Wednesday. And I guess on top of on top of the theory that I'll be teaching you, if you want these little heads up, like in advance, me telling you the prices that I'm looking for and then being able to see, you know, coming over here, you see it hitting to the dollar. OK, the reactions off of that. And then on top of that, I suppose, you know, you actually can see... Um, Da, 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 where's the post I'm looking for, you know, actually like sort of trading it. Because again, I've said it before, there's a difference between analysis and actually trading. So you need to be able to, you know, trade of the amounts um, required. And, you know, there's a difference between saying, you know, 9260 and then actually having no money on the line and then actually saying 9260 being in shorts, taking, you know, taking profits at the lows, seeing the reactions and then look, going into longs. So there's obviously a big difference between it. So, um, you know, if you want these little heads up, the educational side of it and, um, you know, just a lovely community that we have going on here, then, you know, more than welcome to have you across that chart champions. I'm sure you'll absolutely love it. You know, <laughs> members at the moment are absolutely loving it. So 
Um, you know, there you go. I'm going to wrap it up there and I'm going to say thank you once again for watching me in this video. I, I truly hope that it has assisted you in making some informed decisions when you're looking to trade Bitcoin today. You know, whether you're whether you're under the bias of, you know, this is bearish from here and we're heading much lower or whether you're under the, you know, the bias of this is bullish and we're heading much higher. You know, this is for you to make a decision. This video has not been financial advice. I'm not telling you how to trade. I'm just giving you my educational entertainment video for my perspective on this chart. But again, trade it how you will do your own research. Uh, if you've enjoyed my analysis today, I'd thoroughly appreciate a thumbs up on this video. Uh, that would be, you know, a nice way to show your support and to show you that you, you enjoy me making these videos. So, um, you know, thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. I hope, truly hope you've enjoyed the analysis. I'm, you know, really just bringing your... I, I hope that I can share my passion, I suppose. Like, this is my passion. I love it. And more people that I could kind of convert to doing technical analysis and just enjoying it. Yeah, mission, mission complete, I suppose. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you once again and have a brilliant day. Thank you and goodbye. Bye.